Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing OP Italy. This is a build that was suggested to me by one of my subscribers, Iraqi Mapper. So I hope you like this build, Iraqi Mapper. Uh, we have taken over Ethiopia and taken over Yugoslavia and Albania. And now we're turning our attention to France. I'm all lined up and ready to go. So first we're going to start off with having France attack us. We're going to maybe try to get some encirclements down here in Africa. Of course I have to declare war first. We're leaving all of the Italian naval forces in their naval bases. So we'll see how this works. I need to get these encirclements uh, fast. So we're going to have him attack there. He will move around. There. And then he needs to get to there. All right. Let's see how this works here. So per usual, they're attacking us. No problems there. I don't know why the Germans are just sitting back. I guess they haven't joined. The volunteer was not for them. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, where are they coming across? Wow, look at all these forces over here. Crazy. So we're going to get the, the encirclement right there. And then that is a lot of forces. So I'm going to need to entrench those troops. Oh, they went down there. Okay. He might have to just sit there in that case. Okay. Maybe he can take the rest of this island real quick. Air war doesn't look too, too bad. Got green check marks down here. We are on a uh, grand battle plan doctrine, so I want to make sure that the estimated plan values are extremely high. I can call B Bulgaria into this war, so maybe I can't. This ally has already been called, and we are awaiting their response. Okay, so we'll just have to see what they say. 14 to 1 KD. It's pretty good. And typically, I start losing all of my naval airplanes here. Let's see what's going on over here. So they put all their fighters over there. Okay, I'm going to move these guys out. I don't like that at all. I don't want to lose all my attack bombers. And hopefully we can get these encirclements pretty quickly here. Down in Ethiopia, I expect that we just lose the whole thing. That's okay. One civilian factory. No skin off my back. Waiting to make sure that they start running out of equipment and manpower. Things, things of that nature. It's kind of what I'm looking at there. There is a naval base right there. So, yeah, these guys need to basically sit right there. Oh, we can't give them garrison orders, though. This was probably a mistake, moving this guy over here. No, you just stay right there. I might have to just move him out of orders so that he sits right there. We can give him a new commander. So when these guys stop attacking me, that kind of gives you a clue that we need to start attacking them. But they are just doing awesome. I do have tanks in that sector. 
Uh, my equipment in terms of support equipment and anti-air is looking pretty shoddy. So we're going to need to catch up in those areas. Plenty of artillery, though. Ooh, negative 20%. We might have to start getting iron from somebody. Germany? Mm, let's go with the Soviets. Rubber as well. Can get that from Belgium fairly easily. And Iraq, that's a land route. Perfect. So our battleship is going to be completed in two days. Awesome. That's great. Production lines are looking good. This guy's got to hold on right there, man. Okay, so we rinse and repeat here. We can make an encirclement on this gentleman here, too. <laughs> it's going to be awesome if this one guy can hold them off. Okay, he sees what I'm doing, and he's like, nope, you're not going to be doing that. Ooh. This guy looks like he's fighting someone, but I don't know who he's fighting. Let's have this guy hold off for a minute. I would like to get these encirclements here, but they're going to start stacking up with troops. This is not a bad line to just hold, actually. KDA, way over 10 to 1. I'm loving it. Uh, their tank divisions are looking very beleaguered. And my equipment is starting to catch up. So the question is, when's the best time to attack here? 50% and 60%. I mean, this guy is just waiting to be encircled. Maybe I'll start swinging them around and just we'll kind of see how this goes. Cut him off. If they're still attacking me there, I mean, go right ahead. I'm not losing anyone. It's not hurting me. I just don't want their production to somehow you know, better mine. Can this guy get rounds? Maybe he can move into there. These guys need to get into the fight, though. You can see that they kind of know what I'm doing here. I just need to get around these gents. This isn't looking too good. They have air superiority as well. Yeah, that's just staggering losses on their side. This guy's coming across, okay. Do not go back that way. Whatever you do, do not go back that way. holding there. We're still grinding out this line here. If you can give me better than 50 and 60 percent, let's do it. The division's still preparing. I don't know if I trust it, 
I would like to get these guys with the infantry experts on them. If I could get everyone with an infantry expert, like, I feel pretty confident about pushing. What I want to be aware of is kind of the winter, because the attrition is going to go up and I'm going to lose a lot of my tanks. We want to be able to cut these guys in half. Take them away from the ports. Do all that, those sorts of things. Okay, they're still attacking me. Good luck with that. If I can take out this division, I'll be happy. And then, like, make a fallback line here. God, I haven't used fallback lines in forever. Like right there would be amazing. So after I get this division sacked off, maybe we can hit that hit up that fallback line. Oh boy. Man, they're holding out pretty well. That air superiority, man. Just appalling losses. 20 to 1? I'll take it. Come on, hold out, hold out, boys. At this point, I don't think I'm going to be able to push any further. What I do want to do is take him to his fallback line since we got that encirclement. Let's try that again. So that will be an excellent place to kind of make sure that we're not getting surrounded. Yeah. Feels good. 20 to 1 KD. And we're holding Corsica. So we're just going to go down that focus tree line where we get all the industry back. And 1937 is getting a little long in the tooth here. Okay, there you are. I don't see how these divisions could still be preparing. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Everyone should be on aggressive. And then I'm going to take my airplanes and move them forward. Make sure that we have air superiority over there. Then we'll attack. Hopefully this guy can get back without being surrounded. If they present to me another encirclement situation, I'll gladly take it. Okay, I'm seeing green. Ooh. So let's use some of our command power there. And you know what? Let's bring in the cavalry. I just need to tip the balances here. I would like air superiority and not just vanilla air. It's just breaking through here. If we get these coastal towns, it's actually a lot of industry down there as well. Let's see, the AA guns were almost full up on that. It's just the support equipment. Kind of surprised about that. Start churning out more of these. Everything's looking pretty good here. No complaints on the productivity side. They're going to present me with that, huh? We got a fallback line in place. 
I say we go for it. Obviously, all those troops started to go up north. Is what happened. It's a weird animation there. It looked like it I was not in that region. So we'll go excavation so we can get more iron. Push is working. I need to get into here. Seven days. Got some supply issues there. Where's my division? Okay. Of course they get a guy there. Okay, I'll just let these guys grind out. What the heck? Is this like a glitch? One, two, three, four, five. Where are my other divisions? No, literally, where are they? Um, this is the weirdest thing ever. See if we can split this guy. So there's actually three right there. It's just glitching out on me. All right, sweet. We got Savoy in the south. I'm lacking it. So that those attacks are working so far. Oh, you horrible son of a bitch. Hate you so much. Okay, and if we can close the door, maybe we can go around that way. There's a lot of things. Like, if I had to worry about this stuff down here, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Okay, perfect. Well, we have the encirclement. I just wish I could see all my units here. And I mean, we can easily take North Africa. You can actually stop and maybe try to move around. Is that guy moving? Yeah. Alright, no longer 12 to 1 KD, but we're getting there. Like, are you just able to wrap around, my bro? Oh, they just landed three troops over there. Like, just stop attacking. There you go. If, yeah, if we can crush the south of France here and just get it, it looks like we've broken them. Got them trapped on the coast here. If I can just like sneak into Tunis. And then this guy's on a peninsula. Can slowly get these guys cut off here. Okay, so that battleship did not come out. Let's make some variants. So I'm not going to... I'm just going to keep this right where it is. I'm not going to adjust that because I don't want to lose my production efficiency. So when I make the variant, I always, for planes, I start with engine first. And then go with reliability. And then fill up attack. We're going to start another series of casts right here. And the production efficiency is going to drop, but we're still going to create the old version. 
And th in this way, we can get away with concentrated industry and minimize the ill effects of concentrated industry. Uh, we must have gotten some dockyards over here. Nope, we got the south of France. Okay, so everything is kind of mucked up. Oh, look at that encirclement. Oh, yeah. 14? These guys are done, skis. Okay, we got guys coming up on the line here. There's four divisions right here. That should be fine. Just need these guys to have a little common sense. We're going to go offensive line straight to Paris. Army group north. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Whoops. Misclick. They're gonna go after it right off the bat. Army Group South is gonna go for Bordeaux. If we get my prediction is if we can get Paris or Bordeaux game over. Because the stability of France, they had a lot of problems with communism. Ruining their stability is only 19%. So communism was a real issue in France in this ter time period. So that's what is kind of getting simulated here in Hearts of Iron 4. So we're going to go to the Basso Adriatico. Man, the Italians got great names for things. Love it. Might want to get some more oil. Mm. Any land routes? Iran. And I don't need this as much anymore. So that's excellent. Because we probably got the stuff in North Africa. We don't even have the North Africa iron. Okay, so we need to knock these fellas. Like... You need to stop. We need to knock him off this dockyard here. This naval base. And then just corral him right there. Excellent. So we have the three of them attack there. And then we have everyone attack through there. Got another encirclement. These guys are done. Alright, everyone's lining up exactly how they should. Okay, got the encirclement down there. Let's see what the KD is. Excellent. 10 to 1, almost 10 to 1. So we'll give you a goal of going down there. Just beat back their forces. We should, hopefully we should get a lot of equipment from France. I don't know. It's been a very grindy battle here. So we'll see how much. It didn't look like they have. they had many tanks left at all. Maybe move these guys up a little more central. It only matters that the airport is central in the territory that you are, that you're in. It doesn't matter um, that they're close to the front lines. So bear that in mind. Oh yeah, complete breakthrough south of France. Encirclements, everything. So the question that we're going to be challenged with here is do I go from Germany and I, th I believe I'm at war with Czechoslovakia yeah are they coming over let's see here military access are we up against Czech troops it's hard to tell because the flag is so similar red white and blue all the way baby uh I mean, I don't see any Czech troops. These guys are just, like, hanging on. So, it didn't come true. Got Bordeaux. Nothing's nothing's happening. Nothing cool is going on here. Nothing to see here, guys. As soon as I get that iron ore there, we're going to stop trading. Oh, expeditionary force. Thank you. So if I get this expeditionary force, I don't know who to put them with yet. Uh, 
Um, we'll just have them walk straight to Paris. These are a little too expensive right now. I've not found a use for Excavation 2 yet. Should be getting that pretty soon. I'm not going to upgrade any of the naval vessels. Battle fleet concentration. Battleship search and destroy plus 50%. That might be a good thing to go for if I want to do Operation Sea Lion. But this is looking pretty cheap, and there's, you know, we could upgrade the tanks for fairly cheap. But the mainstay of our army is using rifles, so we're going to upgrade the rifles first. And there you go. And Bulgaria had no war score, which was perfect. So let's clean this up and see what we got. 22,000 equipment has been seized. Okay, let the day pass and see if the equipment filters in here. What do I get? Canane, Canone Day 75. So I got 39 artillery pieces, a crap load of weapons. The Moss 36 is the French basic rifle, so we got 3,000 of those. That's very good. This basic equipment is what I made, and then MLE 1886 might be a French gun. Not sure. Plenty of trucks. All right, the Citroen U23, 3,000. So I'll be able to upgrade those tank divisions. We'll be able to get the, the uh, horse component of the tank divisions out of there. The cavalry. That's what they're called, cavalry. <laughs> and let's see how many tanks we got. That's going to be the big one here. FCM 36. Uh, so we got these old one. FT 17. The L3 is the Italian tank. So not that great. 30 tanks. <laughs> I'll take it. We might have gotten fighters. We got carrier fighters and some cas here. Perfect. We probably got some convoys from them from them as well. So we mainly only need oil here. Holy mackerel. We don't need rubber? Did we get Vietnam? We did. <laughs> Excellent. Wow. That is awesome. So I don't think that that might be an advantage actually. Because when you conquer France as Germany, uh, France splits off into free France. So you don't get any of the colonies. You get some of the colonies. If you go Case Anton, you get North Africa and um, the south of France, and they split off to Vichy France, right? But And you get uh, over here near Iraq. Is this some Syria, I think? part of uh, Israel. That's Lebanon. Damascus. Okay, so we have this over here. There's no resources there, which I find hard to believe. There's actually nothing there. There's one civilian factory. Good for us. Awesome. North Africa gets the iron. And you get s two civilian factories. And, oh, we get some colonies down here. Some iron, some rubber. Or is that Portugal? No, that's Italy. So that's why we have plenty of rubber, because we get parts of Africa. Of course, we get Ethiopia back. Um, but the main thing here is we have Vietnam. And Vietnam is good for all that tungsten, chromium, and all that rubber. So now that we have that tungsten... Uh, medium tanks are a distinctive possibility. And I want to make sure... Okay, Madagascar, 19. 
Reunion. It's a little place there. I want to make sure we don't have anything in like South America. I don't think they had anything. Oh, we do. Okay. A little bit of aluminum. So I have to bear that in mind if I go to war with the UK or the Netherlands. And this is all new to me, guys. That's why I'm looking at this. My Hearts of Iron um, experience is mainly Tahiti. We have Tahiti. Perfect. Is mainly with uh, Germany. If you've watched my stuff before. And then I've actually been down here to St. Lucia. And so I know France had some islands down here in the Caribbean. The Caribbean. Beautiful area. The ocean is like bath water. It's like 83 degrees. It's absolutely ama amazing. And Madeira is Portugal. Never mind. All right, so that's going to be it for now. This is actually forming up pretty well. The main goal here is to get realized Roman ambitions right here. And so I need to conquer all those territories. So my main goal is to realize ro Roman ambitions. My stretch goal would be to conquer the USSR and Germany and USA. If I can do that, that will be a, a world conquest in my book. So please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And uh, keep joining me for this series. OP Italy. I'll see you on the next one.